My name is Irene Jumi and I'm a member of the Data School 21st cohort at the Information Lab. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a Zoomable short. In this session, I will show you how to create a Zoom feature on your chart. This technique can be used when your data is dense and you want to focus on specific elements. So now that we have seen how our chart looks like, let's create it. So first, I'm going to double click on life expectancy female and I'm going to double click on birth rate. I can actually close those folders. My view is cleaner. We have built our scatter plot. And now I'm going to drag country into detail. I'm going to drag region to colors. I'm just going to change my mark type to circle and I add population to size and I'll make my size bigger and I will reduce the opacity. We get a nice scatter plot. As you can see, our values are in sums. So I'm just going to change this to an average for both. We have our scatter plot. We're going to rename this shit scatter plot. The next step is to duplicate this sheet and we can rename it zoom. So first we'll make our size bigger. So it will be easier to see it in the tooltip. We will also uncheck include zero on both of our axes. For birth rate and life expectancy, we want to create beans. So I'm going to click on birth rate, create beans. I'm going to put the size I want. Here I want 001. For life expectancy, I'm going to do the same. But I'm going to put size 10. So now we are done with our zoom chart. Let's go back to our origin. At the moment, our scatter plot shows the data for all the years. I'm going to drag years to filters and I'm going to pick years. And I will choose the most recent year, which is 2012. We also want to make sure that our filter applies to all the sheets within our workbook. So I'm going to click on the filter, apply or using this data source. Now I want to drag my two bins into the detail shelf. So let's drag birth rate bin and life expectancy bin. So we want to insert our zoom sheet within our tooltip. I'm just going to delete what we had before to make more space and insert our sheet. I'm going to change the max width to 500 to make it bigger. And also the height, I'm going to change it to 500. I'm going to remove the filter. So let's remove it and I replace it with my bin. So the first bin is birth rate and next life expectancy female bin. So now when I over on my graph, I get this nice zoom view. This tutorial is based on a tip from Jeffrey Schatz's blog. You can find a link to his blog on the description down below. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you now feel more comfortable creating a zoom in tooltip. 
please check the description down below for additional materials. If you enjoyed this video, I think you absolutely love one of our other how-tos, click on the related video. Thank you.